Hey there YouTube, Flaming Creations, you're back with another video, and today I have this custom Fog FX style Part 6 glove for John. Now, before anybody goes and starts raising their pitchforks or gloves at me, uh, John first came to me with this idea of having a uh, Fog in style, or inspired uh, Part 6 glove. And uh, first off, I kind of turned him down and said, you know, if you want a glove like that, you know, get Shay's permission or go to Shay. Um, but he asked Shay and he got his permission for me to actually do this. Uh, he said that he really didn't have a problem with it. So um, John ordered this during my Black Friday sale. So, But this glove is more of a Shay's interpretation of a Part 6 glove or his stylized version. So it's clearly based on a part six, but it has some unique quirks. Um, I actually have whole new templates that I made to try to emulate uh, his part six gloves. So they're not the same, but I tried to emulate some things such as like he has a different pinky template than what I use traditionally. And such, so the templates are all different and changed. The only thing I didn't really change is the backplate template, so. But the solder spills, uh, the weathering, the uh, Dremel cuts in the blades, the blade weathering, and the brass ringlets and hole cut patterns and everything are all based off of Shays. Or how he did some of his part sixes. Uh, John wanted the more dirty... Uh, uh, sinister looking version of Shay 6 so uh, that's what we went with here so uh, this is on a large size leather uh, John has some fairly bigger fingers so I went with the uh, XL style of uh, armature so should hopefully fit you. And this is on a uh, Wells Lamont 1178 newer style. Uh, modified, of course. Um, Shea traditionally doesn't use these as his leathers, but this is what I have on hand available. So this is what I used. Has the brass ringlets that Shea likes to use along with... Uh, Tried to emulate his solder patterns. Oh, sorry for hitting that camera. Let me just quick try to adjust that there over a tiny bit. There we are. <laughs> Tried to emulate his solder patterns that he does. Uh, really clumpy solder. Along with very dark weathering. Um, this was actually, I think, my first glove in a very long time that actually had very little uh, heat weathering. A lot of this, for the copper at least, is all uh, patina and chemical weathering. So I think it turned out really nice. So Now I don't really plan to offer this style of part six. I like to stick with my more Traditional part six is that I do, but because John went and got special permission from Shay, um, I would honor his request, so. This is the Fog FX style Sinful Six. <laughs> um, I'd use the other name, but because of copyright reasons, I don't want to get sued, so this is the Sinful Six. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um... I really hope that you like your glove, John. I'll be getting this shipped off to you in the next couple day or so. Again, there's no paint kind of weathering on this at all. It is all done with like chemicals and patinas. So, Really like how this turned out. And I hope I did it justice, so... But yeah, um, there you go, John. Please remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys all next time.